covering these feelings. I keep on going through changes. I'm just so mad right now. I can't even think straight. So I'm a judge. Tweet it and delete it. Knowing you won't read it. Before we get too far away, I need to clear my mind. this shit is over with. I plan on working the entire time. But other than that, everything is good. So, I'll probably give y'all another little update. Um, I'll probably wait until we go to the doctor's appointment and try to film going to the doctor's appointment, which I'm sure they're probably not going to let me come in with a camera. So, we're going to sneak our phone and we're going to film on our phone. But any of y'all ways, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I can't deep. Hi y'all and welcome back to eye candy so <clears throat> I decided to do a midweek um pregnancy update y'all the last two days have like kicked my ass like if you can't tell I've had like I felt sick but never threw up just felt sick for like hours upon hours and i'm sleeping at odd times like right now is 201 in the morning it is august 14th my brother's birthday was yesterday happy birthday g but um i'm up at two o'clock in the morning and i have to go to work i have to be i gotta be at work early but I have insomnia at this point. I can't go back to sleep. I'm just really sick feeling. Like the cramping has went away, the spotting has went away, and the sickness has taken over. But I'm not throwing up, I'm just nauseated feeling. We are officially seven weeks. We have an appointment August 26th, next Wednesday. <coughs> For our initial visit, we'll see somebody, but this won't be who I deal with the rest of my pregnancy for sure. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. We're gonna try to get prettier some this weekend. We just, we just feel like, bleh, I feel like slime. <laughs> see y'all. Hi y'all, welcome back to Eye Candy. So, 
It's like seven, eight o'clock in the morning. I'm getting ready for work. Last night I was really, really crampy, like in my stomach, like the spotting stopped. But I was really, really crampy, like to the point where sleeping on my stomach, keeping my stomach warm was the only thing that was helping with the cramps. So I had to put like a pillow under my hips and a pillow under my chest just to make that uncomfortable, make that comfortable. Um, this is my fourth kid, so I'm sure I will stop sh start showing very early. Um, I'm not sick. Um, I had to wake up to brush my teeth because I'm noticing like, it's like when I drink or eat anything with sugar, it's like it cakes up on my teeth and it cakes up on my tongue and all around my mouth and I hate the way that feels. It almost makes me nauseous. So I have to wake up and brush my tongue and brush my teeth and get all this saliva and fucking sugar off of it because it was just, and I noticed this with my last kid too, and I, but I was extremely sick with her. So I went on and brushed that off our tongue so we won't be sick. So I'm getting ready for work, y'all. Um, tomorrow we'll be going to start with my cousin, my crazy ass cousin. Y'all get to see her. She's also pregnant. She's a couple weeks further along than I am. Her first OB appointment is tomorrow. She has one child already, but her first OB appointment is tomorrow. And then Star Wars, of course, we go see the same, go to the same clinic. It's like the best clinic in Central Mississippi. So we go to the same clinic. So I'm gonna ride with her to her doctor's appointment. I'm gonna take you guys along. Probably just go to the appointment, go eat, come home. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to come and let y'all know what was going on with me, you know, a little update. Um, if you have had any of these pregnancy symptoms and you know a way to avoid the cramping or help the cramping or help the saliva sugar thing going on in my mouth, it's like it cakes up in my throat almost. If you know how to help prevent or resolve that, please leave it in the comment section below. I need all the assistance I can get you guys. This is going to be a rough one. I can already tell it's going to be a rough one. I ain't sick, but when I say it, a bitch is tired. I hope this is my boy making me tired like this because he gonna be a big healthy boy. All right, you guys. I holla. If you hear that noise in the background, that's my fan. Normally, I will cut it off so that you guys can hear me very clearly. But it's hot as fuck. I'm hot, so we're gonna have to leave the fan on. I'm sorry. So. I am here today with a relaxer. Honestly, I don't know the date of my last relaxer. I have a date, but I honestly think I relaxed between then and now. Cause there's no way my hair should look this good if it's that old. So I know I had to have relaxed between here and now and didn't put the date down. So I don't know when last time I relaxed. All I know is my the wedding that I am in it's Saturday. I'm going to get my hair done on Friday morning. I want my edges to be nice. So we're going to perm today. Okay. I also have a pregnancy update video that I'm in currently editing. Um, big announcement video is already out. If you haven't seen that, go now. And watch the video now. Um, pregnancy update we are going to edit upload like today tomorrow i have been working like a dog y'all like a dog because uh, anybody who's been on my channel already know i work a full-time job uh with, and they actually have us cut down like 30 hours 32 hours for covid but i work a full-time job i'm a mother of three daughters that's a job in itself um, we started back school t yesterday, August 17th. Today is August 18th. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. But I sleep all freaking evening. So, and then I'm, I'm wide awake at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. So, that's why we're recording this freaking late. Um, so, the kids started back school yesterday. So, all of this past week, I have been doing fingernails and hair all fucking week. Okay? Every little girl in the hood wanted their fingernails did for school. I couldn't deny it. So we did. All the, we did, I know we did like five little girls from the hood, my little girls, two of my nieces, 
plus my regular appointments, like it's been hell, hell. So we have one pedicure for tomorrow booked. And I think I'm done till, till like next week. I don't know. We might cut the nail service off till after after I have my baby, my baby like six, seven months old. Cause I, this is too much. I'm thinking about cutting the job and the damn nail service off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cut the job off, y'all. I gotta keep the job because I gotta get my coins. But um, I'm really thinking about cutting my nail service off. Uh, I might keep my little regulars, which that's what put me up because I got a lot of regulars. I, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do on that. Don't that tip. So normally, when I'm doing like a relaxing video or something like that, I flood y'all out with music. We're not gonna flood you out with music today. We are gonna chit chat. We're gonna relax and chit chat, okay? I hope you guys can hear me. I really hope you guys can hear me. Let me turn y'all up just a little bit. Cause I, I always feel like it's cutting off the top of my head. Okay, so we're two months along. As of thir this Thursday coming up, I'll be exactly eight weeks Thursday. Two months along. Uh, we are not showing, we're just fat at this point um we're fat but we're not shown yet i've actually lost a little bit of weight it's crazy try your damnedest to lose weight get pregnant mm -hmm. lose weight so i've actually lost a few pounds which is always a good thing for me, you know. I can stand to lose a few more. Pregnant or not, I really could stand to lose a few more. Because I'm already overweight. For these past couple of weeks, um, I have just been really crampy. In my pelvic area. It's the first time I'm noticing the cramping. I've been thirsty like fuck. I've been killing water and powerade like it's going out of style. I don't know. What's up to taste buds? We are thirsty as heck. But yeah, I got to walk around nappy headed for a week while I prepare my ladies for school. They have broken me. We are broke. School shopping. School shopping, y'all. I went, I spent on all three of my daughters. I spent like $140 on school supplies alone. The school district that I live in provides a school supply list of things that they want you to buy for the kids to have for themselves in the classroom. Each kid has their own list. Uh, their list probably bust out to be about $30, $40 each. $50 each, something like that. Y'all, I'm exhausted. And I ain't put this perm on yet. <laughs> I really need to do it because if I don't do it now, it's just not going to happen. And that's just real because I got shit to do tomorrow. So I got to go all the way to Philadelphia, which is like an hour away from me. I'm looking for a folding mat for my pre K child. They take naps. So she needs a mat to take naps on. Our Walmart has absolutely none. Carthage Walmart, which is like 20 miles away, has absolutely none. Closest Walmart with some is Philadelphia. That's an hour away, so we get to drive to Philadelphia for a freaking mat tomorrow. Now, yes, I could have ordered this mat on Amazon, but by the time they get here, my baby gonna be done slept on the floor two, two freaking weeks. We can't do that. My baby not sleeping on the floor. So we gonna drive and we gonna get this mat. Plus, it's like, eight dollars if i buy it in the store and it's more like 25 dollars if i buy it online i'm not gonna pay 25 dollars for a mat when i can pay eight for it in the store so we're gonna go in the store tomorrow and get this mat um like i say the wedding festivities start on friday so i'm just not gonna have time i i ha i have to i haven't been sick as far as the growing up i'm noticing that with this pregnancy okay let, let, let me give you an example. This is my fourth time being pregnant, okay? 
Uh, if you never had a baby before, every pregnancy is different. It's like having, it's like being pregnant for the first time all over again because it's all different. My very first daughter, Cam, poo poo, she is about to turn 13 in like 12 days. I probably got that wrong. See, she's counting down and she would correct me right now. But we're not counting down. I know what damn day her birthday is. I ain't counting down shit. So. <laughs> She got about 12 days into her birthday comes around. Now Cam, when I was pregnant with her, I lost like 20 pounds before we even got four months into the pregnancy. I lost like 20 pounds. I couldn't eat uh, anything warm. If I ate anything warm, it was coming back up. I was gonna throw it back in, period. And, that, and I was like that the entire pregnancy. I didn't gain nothing but like 17 pounds. Because I had to gain the weight, the 20 pounds that I lost, I had to gain that back, and I probably gained 15 to 17 pounds on top of that. Second daughter, Cassidy, who just turned 10, I had a wonderful pregnancy. Was not sick, not one day, could eat anything I wanted to eat. Wonderful pregnancy. Would love to have her like 30 times. Okay, my third pregnancy, Ava, sick, all over again. I'm using this to on the ends of my hair to keep it from being like super over processed Ava sick all over again uh it wasn't cold stuff it was everything uh, I lost weight with her I was very small with her she was actually five pounds 13 ounces when she was born five pounds 12 ounces something like that when she was born she was a tiny 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 baby um I craved water when I was pregnant it was so weird but this kid, I am sick but not thrown up. I get the whole nauseated experience. I'm talking about down to the point where I'm running to the bathroom like, oh my God, it's about to come up and it never does. So, this is different. But they gave the option of virtual learning and traditional school. Um, I don't like a parent for doing virtual learning. I totally understand why you would do virtual learning. You're trying to protect your kids. I totally understand why you would want to do virtual learning because you want to protect your kids. You don't want to send your kids off into no man's land for them to get COVID and possibly die because that's, that's the reality of this situation at this point. COVID is killing people and I'm sure kids are not immune. So. I understand why you would go virtual. Side note, I did not go virtual. My children is going to traditional schooling. One, I sat down with my children, well, with my oldest child. Um, I give, I talk to her about situations because she's older. She understands what's going on in this world. And she also understands that at some point, she's going to have to make decisions for herself. Now, I did not let her make this decision for herself. The decision was already made. I was just letting her ass know what was going to happen. But when I sat down with the 13-year-old, she was like, Listen, I understand that all this is going on, but we want to go to school. We don't want our life to be altered or ruined. She did not use the word altered. That's the word that I'm using. But they don't want their lives to be altered are ruined for something that they can't help, that we can't help, that we're probably not going to be able to help for a long fucking time, okay? Um, just because we don't live our life in fear does not mean that we don't realize what COVID is, does not mean that we don't respect it does not mean that we don't understand that this shit is real. We understand that it is real. I live in Mississippi. Um, luckily, the county that I'm in, I'm not going to tell you the county that I'm in, but luckily, the county that I am in, we have some numbers. We have did some numbers, but it's nothing like numbers done other places. Like, honestly, to be real with y'all, I think probably like four people that I know personally had COVID. They did their quarantine. At this moment, they are straight. But 
is is here, of course. But our way of life pretty much is the same here. When I get up and go to work every day, like nothing happened. My company does not require masks. Now, around here, if you're going into the stores, yes, you have to have a mask on. But my company is not requiring masks of their employees at this very moment. They did cut us down to part-time hours in May, June. They cut us, they did cut us down to They did cut us down to part-term hours um, because we were losing money, and, and that's just real. Um, I, I work in the money business. I sell money for a living. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but it's real. I sell money for a living, um, and I do loans for a living, and when COVID hit and they gave the pandemic pay the stimulus package that killed our business like killed our business because i sell money so if everybody has at least at the least twelve hundred dollars put in their account not saying at the least because mine was like 22 it wasn't 12 because i had dependents so mine was a little bit more um but when you drop that kind of money into people's accounts it push starts the economy, yes, because people is spending money, they're shopping. Um, where the economy was sitting still because people were scared to go out due to COVID-19, they dropped the money into their accounts. Now it's fuck COVID-19, we finna go shopping. That's where a lot of this spread came from. I think the initial, after they dropped that money, everybody went fucking nuts, okay? And they were shopping, they ain't give a fuck about no COVID. They paid for it a few, a couple, some of them paid for it a few weeks later. But, um, that killed our business. Because if, if everybody's got $1,200, nobody needs me. Nobody needs me. So they got their $1,200 and they came in my store and basically paid my loan, paid the loans off. Which was a good thing on my bad debt end. Because I did not incur any bad debt for the last two three months i have not incurred any bad debt meaning i have had no checks go bad okay everybody paid me out or paid me on time right okay so i lost a lot of freaking customers okay now in my the company that i work for my store is not the best store but my store is right up here at the fucking top ranks it's probably four of us that are amazing stores um uh, they send out numbers every day somebody might be beating me today and tomorrow i might be smashing everybody so i really just go by hitting budget hitting numbers every every month we have a number that we have to that we're is our goal for the month all the way through the pandemic i hit my goal i think one month i was like thirteen hundred dollars from hitting my goal and i know like that might sound like a lot, but let me bust it down for you. Hypothetically speaking, let's say my goal that I have for the month, and I don't get to pick my goal. My goal is sent to me. Okay? We don't have no options. My goal is sent to me. This is your numbers. These are your numbers for the month. They base our numbers off what, my, what the store was doing at this point last year. Okay? So at this point last year, I made 20 bands. They expect me to make 25 bands this year. I should be able to grow it, okay? Now, that's not an issue. When I say I'm 13 down, if my goal is $24,000 and I made 22, And I made $2,700. My goal is $24,000 for the month. And I made $22,700. To me, that's a kill. Especially when other stores in my division are, your goal is, their goal is 15 bands. And they make 10 of the 15. When, they're, when, when other stores in my division are down by 
four to five thousand dollars and I'm only down by 13 I'm winning okay so now everybody has been waiting on this second stimulus for months it's probably not gonna happen y'all y'all can pretty much get that it may happen I don't believe it till they drop it in my account but it may happen but I'm just gonna be real with y'all did um I know the COVID is real, but this is starting to become like a political type thing. They are getting really close to the doggone election. Anyway, I don't know how we got off from pan pandemic talk. We're supposed to be talking about my happy baby. Okay. So we're praying for a son. Y'all, we must comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think we're having, team boy or team girl, based off the symptoms that I have had so far. I'm thinking team boy, because like my girl's pregnancy is like different. This one, I'm tired. It's rough, but I like that. Like, I'm trying to tell you, this is my son. Okay, nobody said this is my boy. Okay, y'all. So, we have put this relaxer in. I'm going to go through, make sure that we have relaxer on all of our hair. But we are not flat ironing. We are not styling this tonight. Um, as y'all know, I'm queen of updos. We're probably going to put this shit in the updo for the week. Because I'm getting my quick weave did, did Friday morning for the wedding. So there's really no need to actually style or mess with my hair at this point. I'm just going to let it be. Let it rest. I probably wear my quick weave a good two weeks. If it'll last two weeks. But... A good two weeks just to give my hair a break afterwards because we're probably gonna end up in braids towards the end of this pregnancy but one thing I did want to say now so you guys I need y'all to help me and hold me personally responsible one of my friends told me I like shit the other day and I did look like shit y'all so my go and my husband tells me a lot oh you could dress up a little bit more you know so my goal is to not let this pregnancy have me looking crazy i'm trying to be pretty this whole pregnancy i want to keep myself together and keep myself up i want to work out a little bit nothing major just a little bit a little workout i'm gonna work out a little bit i just want to i want to look nice I want to feel nice. I want to feel pretty. I don't want to feel fat and bloated. And <sighs> how pregnancy can make you feel. Anyways, I'm going to go rinse my hair. Thank y'all for watching Eye Candy. Thank y'all for chatting with me. I am going to leave the link to my baby registry in the comment box below. If you guys would like to buy anything for the baby, please feel free to do so off the registry. And please leave me a little note and let me know who it's from because we're going to compile everything and we're going to have like a online baby shower type. I might do a live baby shower for all my gifts from my subscribers and family and stuff. So, we're going to leave a link in the description box below if you would like to buy before anything. Um, thank y'all for watching my candy. I'll holler at y'all later this week with the sneak peek DNA test.